fellas whether this is a skit or not there are men out here that are going through it with insufferable women that they've you know married sadly and they're trying to get out of this situation so they can jump on the next thing smoking the gravy train over to another country so they can get a baddie the thing is this guy has his ends tied whether this is real or not let's just say it is real let's just hypothetically say it's a real situation and the woman tears up the contract she's upset she's mad because the man has moved on he's upgraded and now you know maybe she was in her prime because she said 30 years ago if this is real keep in mind if it's real but now she looks like john candy like there's some dude that's suffering with some woman that's insufferable right now as we speak so <laughs> this is hilarious to watch this could be somebody's situation but man this is why getting your passport and getting out of here and getting far away and not marrying women in the west because if this is a real situation it's probably fake but there's niggas that have actually been dealing with hoes like this their whole life and they're like bro i need to get on to the movement do whatever you can make as much money as possible and get on the first thing smoking guys and go get yourself a woman go get yourself a passport or if you have one already renew it use it telling you guys this this is may not be real but bro this is a real situation <laughs> i need y'all to understand this this is the message all 2024 yeah so the mister wanted me to come and meet him real quick mm -hmm. and um i'm like so not a date all right we can meet at the casino baby this is it that's it who the fuck are you bitch how you doing <laughs> am i by myself with this or what yeah. no babe you are not alone and before any of you try it in the comments, let me just show you this. Okay, this is our good sis on her worst day, okay? So she telling y'all right now, you're not getting all of this just to meet up. You need to take her out on a nice date, okay? And you'll get this, all right? Don't let that video fool you, all right? She was not feeling that man. This is our good sis and we ride in solidarity. <laughs> Now follow our good sis for some motivational content in case you end up putting on some makeup for a coffee date. Shut up, silly woman. Take that on a date for what? Why, why would a dude take a negative 10 on a date? Like she doesn't even go up 0.2%, even made up. Like, <laughs> this is all you're getting, M my bummy dirty clothes. Like, bro, that dude would be so disappointed if he saw you all dolled up. He's like, you know what? It's a slow Tuesday. She's on my D. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just do it. And he goes there. He spends the night with you. He wakes up. And he see what you really look like with all that stuff. He'll be like, what the hell? He's going to be really pissed. So you are not doing anything when you're getting made up. And even when you aren't made up, you look like a bum. So like, dude, what is dude getting? Like two strands of lint, a button, and some Cracker Jacks? Like that's all you're worth. These women big each other up. They look like freaking like like they just came out of oscar the grouch's trash can and then they have the nerve to get on here and say you better do all this you better whine and die you better do and she's like I, this, this is what he's getting this is what he's getting so you're pretty much catfishing dudes you're using filters you're trying to supposedly somewhat get dressed up and made up and this is what you get when you take me on a date bro you're not getting much you're still getting stuff in the negatives you're still getting negative <laughs> these women are ridiculous bro and then you got the sisterhood girl that doesn't look any better than this woman saying yes yeah, sis follow sis for more inspirational and she got all these blemishes <sighs> over sense of self-worth this is what this is guys don't fall whoever ever ever fell for this don't fall for it again don't fall for this chick and stop following her if you're a dude there's there's nothing to follow let me tell you, if a guy says to you, I want peace in my relationships, if he says, I want a drama-free relationship, if he says, I just want things to be easy, run for the hills. I'm sorry, what? Run away from a guy that wants peace and he just wants things to be easy? Like, what? What? 
sentence. Run for the hills immediately in that moment. Just turn around and walk away. Because what he's actually saying to you is that he has no emotional capacity. He has no conflict resolution skills. He does not know how to hold space. And when you present your emotions to him, and especially, especially if he in some way contributed to those emotions, he will gaslight you. He will blame you for your own emotions. He will dismiss it. He will get on the defensive. What the hell is going on here? Is she serious? Because is this a real life thing? Like it almost seems like she's just saying, we wanna be in a relationship, like us as women, we wanna be in a relationship where we can bitch, moan, complain, and make a fucking mountain out of an anthill, no matter what, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. Like, seriously. Like, sir, you want peace? <laughs> uh-uh, not in this house, sir. We bring drama here, and you're just gonna have to handle that. Guys, I will continue to say this. I don't care what nobody says, bro. Like, women are childlike. They have childlike tendencies, and once they start getting all this attention, once it starts and it, and it settles in, when they hit their peak years, when they look the best, I swear, they never mature after that, bro. So they expect to kick, scream, whine, have crazy moods, act like a little child, you know what I'm saying? And you're supposed to, like this guy said, and you're supposed to deal with it. You're supposed to have this, uh, you know, ant mountain full of shit and a guy is supposed to just deal with it. No. How about you understand that your emotions change with the wind. Emotions don't matter. Your feelings don't matter. And if you want to get with a man, that's probably why these women don't have a man. That's why she's trying to give out this shitty advice because she can't have her way and she can't control a man and she can't manipulate a man so she's telling women if he is not dealing with your bull crap then you just need to run which is terrible advice because they should be saying hey if you have a man that's not into that bull crap he's not full of drama you should act like you want to keep him you should act like you, you you're you trying your best to keep the man because that's a woman's job anyway the woman's job is to keep the man and love the man the man's job is to protect the woman and to retain the woman after he gets what he wants from her. If she wants something else, it's on her to get that. But you have entitled women like this that are so mad, kicking and screaming, upset, having tantrums, acting like little five-year-olds because they can't control men anymore. Because men have leveled up. Because men have figured out the game. And men have stopped playing the game their way on stupid mode. So what men have done is men just say, you know what? They checked out. They're going their own way. That's why you have MGTOW. You have guys who understand the red pill and don't take these women serious. So you have the red pill and they're just, you know, you know, evacuating after they start ejaculating. And you got guys that just say, oh, I'm done with it. I'm not even going to deal with these chicks. And they just fly and they go to another place and they get baddies and they report back to us and say, hey, it's better overseas. Your outlook on life will change once you leave and step off that plane with those rich ninja problems but you have women like this fighting upset completely reflecting and projecting her issues all the things that she wants and her stupid attitude that she's never grew out of she still acts like she's 15 and 14 years old and she's trying to project it on other women what do i always say guys single women keep women single crabs in a barrel climbing the ladder to pull the other woman down and they claim it's in and it's for the love of the sisterhood it's bullshit anyway guys that's that's the end of the video I, I, i'm sick to my stomach just listening to these women i'm surprised i'm not losing hair but it is what it is guys make sure you guys like the video sub to the channel with post notifications on and make sure you guys comment for the algorithm i love you all thank you for watching my videos i'm gonna get back up to cooking this content that you guys love i'm gonna see you guys on it all in the next one <sighs> man Peace out, guys, and get your passport. I'm out.